What is going on people? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about what cars you should get as a first car or you just want a better platform so you can start modding cars. Now if you're like me, being a working student is really hard and it's really challenging because saving money is the hardest thing in the world. So now I'm going to go show you guys what cars to get for a reasonable price and a very good platform to start with. So without further ado, let's go hop on the computer. And now our first car on the list is a 1991 Mazda Miata MX-5. Now this car has 116 horsepower and 100 pound-feet of torque. It may not be the fastest car out there, but I guarantee you that this is one of the most fun you'll ever get out of a car with this size and that much power. And this car in particular is a 1991 model. It's uh, It's got 160,000 miles. And from what it looks like right now, I chose this simply because it's close to a bone stock Miata, which is, I definitely would highly, highly recommend if you were to buy your own car simply because it's bone stock. It's not modified just yet. And so you can put the parts that you want there without having problems in the future. This right here, I would definitely guarantee it's a deal and it's it's 4600 bucks and that doesn't mean that it's not negotiable it's very well negotiable and so you can probably knock down 800 bucks from that so you can probably get this for 3800 bucks which is really not that bad and so mazda miata will do it for our first car in the list and now let's move on to car number two moving on to car number two we have a 2008 scion tc and it's got the pearl white paint from what it looks like but this car right here is a very very fun car as well same goes as the miata it's definitely not the fastest car out there but it's definitely fun to drive this thing i personally have a 2006 scion tc and it's got a quite high mileage on it but that thing drives so well and it's definitely reliable in this case it, from a student's perspective you know you want to have the most reliable car out there i mean sure you know having a force induction kit in the car which makes it not reliable uh, it's fun the scion tc right here is a very fun car to start um, especially if you're planning to mod it and so hopping on to some specification in the car so this car has 160 horsepower and 163 pound-feet of torque now it's a decent car and i definitely guarantee you guys that the back seat for this car is a big thing it's it's i don't know it's not the most spacious uh back seat but it's probably not the tightest either and so this car right here i would definitely recommend it simply because it's one of the best cars out there to get for a very quite cheap car and like i said right here we have a 3800 dollar car and as well goes for this it's negotiable you can probably knock it down 400 bucks or maybe even more and you know depends you can play good cop bad cop but that really depends on you and how you want to play that so and moving on to our third car the list which is a 2007 volkswagen gti and this right here in particular is a base model which has a two doors and an automatic transmission and this car right here has 200 horsepower and 207 pound feet of torque and now if you put that much power on this type of car it's a really really fast car especially if you can get this in the manual transmission it'd be a lot more fun and um you know you can control the car even more but this one right here in particular is actually not that bad it's got a real spoiler air filtration all that stuff it's got powder shifters though which is really good looking at the pictures right here it looks really clean in the interior and it looks bone stock which is you know it really matters you know if you're planning to go mod your car in sometime in the future but if you were to buy a uh modded cars as long as it's close to being base it's it's pretty good you know and for the pricing for this one it's six thousand nine hundred and ninety nine and so it's close to, wait it's pretty much seven thousand dollars moving on to the next car on our list is a nissan 350z or if you're in canada 350z it's so weird saying that but here it is the best car you could probably get for around five thousand dollars it's honestly my one of my dream cars growing up and so this right here in particular it says it doesn't have a scratch on it 
you know, I would assume, you know, for a clean title, I would say that this right here for 5,500 bucks, it's a really good deal for a 350Z. I mean, sure, you could probably find a lot cheaper than 5,500 bucks, but this right here in particular, I mean, I like it because it's bone stock on the outside, and right here we have a custom head unit right here, which is really not that bad. This car right here is a very popular car. Um, it people do some crazy stuff with it. It's really, really good, and like I said, it's one of my dream cars, and I still would love to own one someday, maybe if I save 5,500 bucks. This right here will be a fourth car, I believe, in our list, and from here, we're moving on to our next car, which is a 2010 Mercedes-Benz C-Class C300 4Matic Luxury Sedan with four doors. Now, this car right here, you know, if you're looking for um, more space, you know, a back seat, and just a luxury type of car, you, you can definitely... Uh, get this car for 5,900 bucks. This right here it has a clean title, no mechanical problems, and current registration, pink slip in hand, which is really, really good. And if you were to purchase one of these cars though, I would definitely recommend having a professional or like a mechanic with you just to double check that you know there's no hidden issues in the car but this right here in the engine bay it looks really clean but here is a 2010 mercedes-benz c-class this one right here in particular has 150,000 miles which is a very high mileage if you ask me but if you're just gonna use this for you know for two years or so if you uh if you maintain the car with you know its maintenance and oil change and all that stuff i would not see any problem um going over 150,000 miles more uh, for the mileage but this car right here is definitely a steal this right here in particular is a black on black it's kind of like a stealth look especially if you do it uh, with a chrome delete and stuff it would definitely look like a monster and this right here has a 228 horsepower 221 pound feet of torque it's got a 3.0 liter engine it's got a v6 and so this right here could be a very very fast car when you want to but a very very nice and reliable car if you just chose to just drive chill drive casually and so now we're going to be moving on to one of the most popular cars out there for cheap which is a 2006 lexus is 350 sedan now we're on the sedan side right in here but it, it's really not that bad this one right here in particular is also black and chrome and this car right here has 306 horsepower with 277 pound feet of torque which is really fast as well if you ask me i know i keep saying that but i really do mean it this right here you can do so much stuff with it especially if you try to slam it down just a little bit and i personally is not a fan of crazy amount of stands it's really not that good looking in my opinion but you know people love those and people also like those static look but um me personally i still want to drive my car normally and go over bumps um that are not too high but this right here you can um customize put on some nice wheels but this one has a really bad scratch at the, back, at the back so you probably need to do a paint retouch on this but this one is really cool you can just do so much stuff i could see it i could definitely see it in this car and moving on to the last car of my list which is a 2008 bmw 335i and now man oh man i love this car and i still really want this car but I mean, I personally would probably prefer a white color over a gray or a dark silver because it looks a lot cleaner. But this in particular would definitely do it for me. This one is a dark silver. Like I said, I mean, it looks beautiful. I mean, it's got some scratches, but it's not a big deal. You can probably just send that off. Or if you want, you can wrap it. Or if you want, to if you want it to be done professionally, you can spend about 800 bucks and, you know, take that scratch off. And this one right here is a were a bad one just because you cracked your windshield but overall this car looks really nice on the inside it looks clean there's no cracks in the leather seats which is really good because every time i see a car like this it would definitely have some cracks on the seat if it would get beat up with the sun you know if it's just like sitting outside but this one has a really clean interior front and back it's really good and um you know it, it just needs a little bit of cleaning on the inside and the outside as well but this right here overall is a very very nice car to start and i would definitely be jealous if you have this car as a first car this one right here has 300 horsepower and 300 pound feet of torque and you can 
modify that having or replacing the stock turbos with just a little bit more bigger turbo um, you can either go a single turbo or twin turbo because this i believe comes with a twin turbo stock but this one right here has a clean title with 81,000 miles and that for this model right here is actually pretty pretty low and if you ask me that's a steal um, this one comes in at nine thousand dollars which is a little bit more pricey in my opinion but you know this one has an n54 engine which if you ask bmw people out there they're looking for the n54 engine because a lot of people say it's like a 2jz but made by bmw but you know i'm not gonna get into that much i would definitely recommend this car if you have just a little bit more money to spend you know if you have the um budget for it but this one right here has has the ac and heater both working great which is an excellent excellent specification but this one as well has 81,000 miles very low mileage and so this one right here is a steel uh oh man i love this car i really do all right guys that's gonna be the end and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and now i know i've missed um some more budget friendly cars out there and if you have some more in the list please comment down below and you know make sure to go add some more because i'm going to be reading the comments also just make sure that if you were to buy one of these cars just make sure you have someone with you that actually knows about the car simply because you know you don't want to have a issues in the car or any hidden damages just because it would definitely cost you some more once you have some hidden damage so i would definitely and i would highly recommend having someone with you to check up the car before you even buy it just because you know people actually do that you know they won't tell you everything they just want to have a quick buck and you know people do that which is really sad but it happens but yeah like i said i hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always i'll catch you guys in the next one peace